What's up, guys? It's Josh and Chris bringing you another video. I'm tired as fuck. Just gonna throw that out there. Way to cuss that quick in the video, Josh. Yep. New record. That's better. Remember that video that literally started with cunt? I never uploaded that, and I lost that video. Oh, well, that sucks. I know. We're in the laptop again. We're uh, in the laptop? Yeah, we're in the laptop. Does that make sense? Ha! <laughs> Alright. Victory is mine. Mexicanos win! Oh my god. The white men. <laughs> oh my god. Make a shout out to the f statuses I make when I hack his phone about the fucking war between white people and Mexicans. This guy here. He's the leader of the Mexicans. I am leader of the white people. Since my last name is White, that's just how it goes down. My last name's Brown. Chris Brown. <laughs> I was like, I was like, is that a skin tone joke? And I just thought about it. I was like, Wait. it's Chris Brown. All right. So, faith, or Urban Dictionary's word of the day. I thought is, we were doing a video on do re, do re fa so la. Oh yeah, but I want to do this because. Well, shut up. All right. Facebook mommy is one who is worthless mom in real life, but posts photos of them with their kids. Hashtag love my babies. Hashtag kids are my life. Number two. A mom who spends five hours at a nightclub, ten hours a day asleep, four hours a day working, two hours a day shopping, eating, drinking coffee with her girls, and an hour and a half showering and getting dressed, and thirty minutes with her kids taking Uzi's. Uzi's? Uzi's? Is that like selfies except for with multiple people? I think so. That's it's, like the most retarded thing I've ever heard. It looks like pussies. And posting them to Facebook using hashtag. hashtag Hashtags. Hashtag. <laughs> Damn it. Your gay lisp is coming out, Chris. Hashtags. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that just got gay quick. Yeah, it did. I think actually audio on this will be better because the phone is actually right here in front of us. So it'll be a lot better than our other ones. Especially if we talk louder. Okay, continue. <laughs> Girl, did you see Becky on Facebook with her kid? Yeah, girl, we had to come home from the club when she took it. We were so wasted. Yeah, she's a total Facebook mommy. Where did they get this stuff at? I don't know. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, it's from a certain user. So you can, I guess you can sign up for the website. I guess make an account. You can make your own definitions. We need to make a definition of fat. Yes. Oh, oh let's actually see what the definition of that is. And caca. And paint. <laughs> Fat, according to Hollywood, what you are if you are female weighing over 100 pounds. We have a better definition on fats. We use fats to degrade, to, degrade, degrade. to describe food. Even if it's healthy, we're just like fruit. <laughs> Some vegetable fruits, you know. Oh, God, that is fat. <gasps> Holy fuck. <laughs> Mom? <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Hold on. You gotta see that. Ugh. All right. We also use fat to describe something big, like if we, like uh, our, you know, nuts. Yeah, nuts are fat. Barati kebab for all you Arabs out there. Barati kebab. But I mean, the balls are big. <laughs> I was gonna say you're gonna explain that, right? Because well, David was teaching me French or er, French fries, which I guess the word for potatoes is badata, almost like with a t at the end, badata. But I kept saying but that duck with a K at the end by accident, which means I think your balls and but that D means my balls. So I kept saying like but kabar, which means or I was supposed to say that that means big or that means large fry. But you just lost half the audience, including me. Well, fuck you. I don't know what you're saying. It's so confusing. You're like, but you don't know what I'm saying as I'm explaining because it's so confusing to me. Badatta. I'm tired too. Badatta kabar. That means large fry. But I kept saying badatta kabar. So I kept saying, David, your balls are big. <laughs> Without even realizing, because the words are so close. This is fat. What people become after eating McDonald's for years every day. These people usually end up 400 plus pounds and feel sorry for themselves. Usually they end up on Oprah, so bored. <laughs> so bored housewives can feel sorry for them. 
and the government can send them IR free IRS money stolen from the people who actually work. I don't feel sorry for fat people because it's not my fault they became fat. I think that person has something to do with it. All right, well, I'll see as fat to describe laziness. So if we say, I'm just going to go fat on that couch, it's it could go one of two ways, but you kind of just assume they're just going to go be lazy. I, mean, I assume we're going to eat. <laughs> yeah, like if we you say, haven't stuck around with us long enough then, Chris. What do you mean? I was there when fats was invented. Yeah, but you weren't there for all the other times they expanded. <laughs> Get it? Expanded? <laughs> fat, fat? Yeah, fat. All right, so um, me and Josh are going to perform something for you guys. Something bringing back from our childhood. I know. All right, ready? Okay. Ready. You. So do I molest you first or do you molest me? Oh, you meant that. Yeah. My uh, other thing from our childhood. I was going to say, if you really want to, I was like, I'd rather you molest me first. Anyway. It's going to be so weird if my parents see this. I, They're going to think that that actually happened and it didn't. It did not. I hope we really didn't offend anyone who got molested, but if we did, oh well. That's kind of mean. Well, we can't. Pees everyone, Josh. First Amendment, freedom of speech. Why is your camera's name Zoe? Uh, because I like your sister. <laughs> I'm kidding. Looks like I'm flipping off you guys, but I'm trying to flip off Chris. That's actually the name of the camera type. Like it, it's like pretty much like a vine. Like it records in six seconds. What are you talking about? It's been six minutes and forty-two seconds. No, like this is a certain camera thing on it. Oh, you can switch to that? Yeah. I thought that was the name of this one we're on. No. Well, are, are we ready to perform this? Yeah, alright. Do a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun, me a name I call myself, far a long, long way to run. <laughs> Wait, we already said me. <laughs> so, so, a needle pull and thread. La, a note to follow. So, tea, a drink with jam and bread. That will bring us back to dough. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. We did it perfectly in the car. I know, and then when we got here, we messed it all up. Yeah. But yeah, I remember that from music class as a kid. I remember that from music class as a kid. <laughs> Kill yourself. Alright, so, looks like I'll be taking over the channel for now on. What's up, guys? Chris, I don't know what to do. I'm not interesting like you. <laughs> I... I will use my powers, my healing powers. If I touch his dick, he will rise. <laughs> Don't touch me. I wasn't going to touch you. <laughs> I knew that would work, though. Look at, look at my hair. Look through Ratchet. I fucking hate when people say Ratchet. <laughs> the fuck, Chris? Look at it. It's fucking adorable. Ah. Uh. Okay, sorry. <laughs> this is weird. This is weird. Chris, come up with something fast before we lose our audience. I have a teddy bear. We don't want to lose our two viewers. We actually got eight. No, that was actually me. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta move this blanket because it's like my legs. My little wiggies. Them legs, though. Ugh. God dang it. Alright. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say, that's, that's, that's all up in our way balls. better. Yeah, it was all up in our balls. So, we did the Do Re Mi Fa Sol La Ti. Dude, remember when we first met? This is gonna be a reminiscing video, probably. Uh, I remember before we met, too, actually. We had a science class freshman year together, Miss Undercoffler. But we did not speak to each other. I just remember you being in that class. I I sat next to Ethan Hewlett. Did you? Yeah. We were best of buddies. Excuse me. Well, me and Chris met, actually started talking sophomore year. Uh, that was when me and Akelia became friends. And we would 
I can't remember. It was one day we we kept joking around about something. And Chris, You're making sexual jokes. And then I turned around and, and I was, he's like, "What the fuck?" And he started joining in, and then we all became like a best friends trio. I actually started dating her not too long after, but then he started dating Casey. Those were some fun times. Back to Miss, uh, it was Miss Deeker's class, sophomore year. That's when we started talking, and I remember, I remember a lot of things going on in that class. I remember uh, there's actually a video. Of me laying on a table being attacked by Chris. Oh, that was fun. I think I still have the picture of that. Dude, uh, I look like I was molesting you. I guess it's yeah. your turn. Go ahead. I was skinny back then. Oh, God, no. No, it's okay, Chris. <laughs> I don't have to get my revenge. <laughs> but uh, there's a video I have on my YouTube channel, Slayer Fanatic 81 of Chris eating a binder. It's That's called on your channel? Hungry Mexican Eating Binder. I was so skinny back then. Yeah, you know, that actually might have been Achilles' title for her. She also posted a video of it. I posted one too, but mine might have been called something different. I don't remember. It's been so long since I even watched it. I just know I have one of the videos on my profile. So. And I was like, eh. on my channel, whatever. Uh, what else happened? <laughs> I remember Achilles took something really sharp and just stuck it into my skin, and then it was like dangling from there, like uh, some crazy shit. One of my fondest memories, though. Sophomore year was the best year of high school, in my opinion. But one of my fondest memories of Miss Deeker's class, the water fight between me and yes. Chris. We had water bottles that had holes in the top, and we were squeezing water at each other, and it started spraying all over the place. And the teach man, she was freaking out. Dude, Miss Deeker got so pissed so off funny. at us. It was so funny because everyone was talking and stuff because we were like doing our own thing, doing some like classwork. And she's like, "Everyone, back to your assigned seats." No one, no one moved a single foot because we were already in our science seats. I, was like, I know. I was like, what? She made it seem like we were all like running around. We literally stayed in the same spot, just squirting each other. Dude, I squirted you so good in the face. And she looked at you and me, and she's like, she just stared at us. And you and me just got up and slowly walked over to the paper towels and started getting some. Dude, remember when I pissed her off by cutting my own hair off? Oh, yeah, dude. I remember that. That was hilarious. My hair was, like, long like this, and then one day I just, like, randomly got tired of it being in my face, so I just grabbed pieces, and I just went... That's when we were watching just... some sort of documentary or something, some sort of science video, and he just kept cutting his hair. I was like, Chris, it's all over the floor. And then she got so mad, and then she's like, you need to stop cutting your hair in my class and leaving it everywhere. And then I cut it again. <laughs> Miss Deeker probably hated us. Me and Achilles, like, we would scoot close to each other and I'd have my arm around her. And she'd be like, that is not a couch back there. <laughs> <laughs> but you made it one. I, I can't remember. I made a joke back to her. Actually, as soon as she said that, she, what did, she, what did I say? She's like, that's not a couch back there. And Why do you got a couch up there for your fat ass? No, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get, get to the principal's office. I, I had a good comeback. I couldn't remember what it was, but it was funny. Uh, well... I remember freshman year, science class, that's, a, oh, not science, freshman year of Spanish, I'm fucking tired, but one of my fondest high school memories was in that class because it was Miss Lofton's Spanish class, and we were doing some sort of conjugation stuff, I can't remember what it was, but she wasn't explaining it very well, so I did not understand it whatsoever, and we had whiteboards and dry erase markers and we were supposed to write the answer on it and I wrote fuck this on it and I held it up because you know she was facing the chalkboard or whiteboard whatever and I, she turned around like that I swear because I as soon as she turned around I put it down and my nick, my uh, Spanish name was Carlos and she's like Carlos don't have such a negative attitude <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever she's like yeah I saw what you put on the whiteboard I was like how did you see that she's like I'm fast <laughs> her husband she's says like, the same thing and she was just like, let's, what? <laughs> she was like, let's not put that on the whiteboard. I was like, okay. <laughs> she was like, you got to have more faith in yourself, Josh. Or Carlos. That was good. What, what's Better a fond memory of hers? Fond memory of mine? From high school? From or from any grade? K through 12. K through 12? Uh, I don't have fond memories. Just death. Bullshit. I remember the the time I actually slaughtered a whole first grade like class. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, tell us about it, Chris. Uh, first, I started with little uh, Carlos. Little Carlos? Yeah. My brother? Yeah. Remember how your parents said he just ran away? He died. 
Look at me, bitch. Carlos es muerte. Very muerte. I think muerte means dead. I can't yeah. remember. Dio de los muertos. Dia de dead. Yeah, I just can't remember if that was the right conjugation for it, the right ending. Because there's a difference between, like, necesito and necesitamos. Because necesitamos means we need, necesito means I need. Necesit necesitais or something like that means you all. What else there is there? It's like necesitas, which is you need. I don't remember. I'm surprised I remember that much. Mm. Uh, but actually, let's see. So, Chris, how come since you're Mexican, you don't know Spanish? Play my parents. Never taught me. Do they know okay. Spanish? Mm -hmm. Well, my dad doesn't know, like, fluent Spanish, but he knows pretty good Spanish. Better than me. You know what would fuck me up? To see a Mexican with a British accent. Have you seen a black person with a British accent? Yeah, there's actually a guy who used to come through the drive thru at McDonald's that had a British accent, and it fucked me up so bad. He doesn't come through anymore, unfortunately. Have you seen an Asian with a British accent? Oh god, that that messed me up too. No, I have not. Hey, truly good day. <laughs> <laughs> um let's see. I'm trying to think of highlights of like my life through school. I really enjoyed my first kiss. My first kiss was Marissa Davis at Aaron's Family Fun Center. Yep. Mine was Kristen Eames at her house. Get it. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I don't know. Like, we were kissing for a bit, but I had to be home, and then, like, my mom was about to beat the shit out of me. And then she's like, what do you mean you had a good time? And I was like, oh, God. I was like we watched movies, Mom. We watched movies and made out. <laughs> High five. Yeah, I wasn't going to do that to her, though. <laughs> you probably would now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got some action, Mom. High five. <laughs> <laughs> High five yourself. <laughs> no, that was my mom's hand. Idiot. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It looked like <laughs> Dis like Josh. High five. It looked like you just high-fived yourself again. I'm going to high-five your face. Do it. Oh. Oh. That was a bitch slap. That wasn't a high five, that was a punch. Now you're just slapping me like a bitch again. I should have had a V8. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just not hit someone on the forehead and tell them that you should have had a V8. You gotta tell them. It should have had a V8. Our kids are gonna be like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's our generation, bitch. No, they just don't know because they're too busy drinking alcohol and drinking Mountain Dew, that nasty shit. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. Did you mess up my comics? I will kill you. Nah. I mean, a couple of them ripped, but that's it. Oh my God. Did you follow up on purpose? Yeah. Okay. I got a little dramatic. I thought you... I love my Mountain Dew. I thought you fell off on accident. I was about to crack up. Yeah, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Okay. But, um, yeah, I'm probably going to have to tell Kristen I mentioned her in this video because she's going to watch it, probably. I should send this to Christina. By the way, Christina, if you're watching this... I'm sorry I didn't text you today. It was Mother's Day. I was very busy for like almost every bit of it until after the movie, which ended when my phone was at 1%. And I came to this kid's house to pick him up. So yeah, my phone is dead to prove it. I thought you told me... Push the button. It ain't doing shit. It's dead. It's useless. Kind of like Chris. I thought you told me you were texting some other chicken and then it died. <laughs> this kid trying to make me look bad. Do I look like I'm kidding? No. The sad thing is, if she believes you, I'd be really pissed at you. Because you're very believable. <laughs> he wasn't texting another chick.
He just died because he doesn't know how to fucking charge his phone. I was, this is Mother's Day. I was busy all day. So? For, what did we do first? First, I went to go pick up her present, which was a bench. A really nice garden like, uh, kind of bench. Uh, what? It's Mother's Day. No, go Day. on. Go on. Go on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry, Chris. Are, um, are you the only one that can talk in the videos? Yeah. Okay. Just, no, just go no. do your own thing. No, no, it's okay. No, no, fucking go ahead. Go ahead. This is Mother's Day. We talk about what happened on Mother's Day. My go ahead. bad. Just, yeah, keep talking. My bad. Keep talking. Oh, God. No, is, keep talking. Is that how your Mother's Day went? Yep. <laughs> All right, well, while Chris is fapping in the background, get it. But, yeah, I got her a bench for, like, the backyard. Then we had a water balloon fight. <gasps> <gasps> No, we, uh, played, we played Clue. Uh, we played Clue. Then we had a water balloon fight. Then we had a barbecue. Then we played Taboo. Then... Then we watched a movie. Then I picked up Chris. And... Then we went to Belton McDonald's to hang out with Chumney and Alexis. And then we went to Walmart. And then... That's when the night got interesting because we went to Grandview Park, and I pre I was pretty sure we were going to get caught by cops, but we wanted to go on the teeter totter. So we went to the park, played on the teeter totter, played on some other shit, and then a cop came, of course. But he was probably the nicest cop we ever talked to. Yes, yeah, to say if we were a part of orgies, which means he thought we were attractive. Yeah, he, he actually did. It was pretty weird. He's like, "You're not doing any like drugs over here, are you?" He's like, "No orgies or nothing." <laughs> like, no. I was flattered. He actually thought I could actually get some action. <laughs> no, but he was really nice. He actually, he just talked to us for a couple minutes, and it was pretty cool, actually. So, yeah, apparently there's gangs out there who think it's fucking tough to go to a children's park. That's Grandview for you. That's totally. That doesn't surprise me. That's Grandview for you. You think they'd want to like hang out in front of like a liquor store or a gun shop? No, they want to fucking hang out by the swings. Why don't they ever go to each other's like houses? Why is it always like parks? Because Little Puppet doesn't play that shit, homie. <laughs> I, I, I feel like the future gangs are going to hang out at fucking Build-A-Bear. <laughs> Chris? Uh, what? I don't know. You, I, didn't, I didn't have a snappy comeback on that one. I'm, I'm surprised. That's different. I usually have a pretty good snappy comeback. See what I did there? Huh? Yeah. He made a pun because he's humorous. <laughs> And freeze. My hand's switching. All right, freeze. We could actually make you believe that time froze if it wasn't for that fucking fan in the background. Is this really what our videos come to? I know. Just us making right. faces and. Freeze that's time. the end of this video yeah that's when you know the video is over um please like and subscribe if you haven't already which you probably haven't so fucking do it um <laughs> all right so it's in the video here any last words nope goodbye oh finally dude food. oh my god oh, come here babe all right <laughs> oh fuck the camera's on bye <laughs> Chris, how do you stop it? How do you stop it? Tickled. Press the record button, idiot.